Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you're supposed to join me today as we continue killing zombies in search of the... What's the... What was the name of that? The High Priest or something? Yeah. Uh, something. It's... We're searching for somebody. The, the guy that's apparently the leader of this cult, and there's... I was gonna say there's zombies around, but that guy is not around it. Well, I guess he's more around than he was before, because it's all over the place. So, anyway, there's more of them. Man, did you guys respawn or something? I think they do respawn, though, now that I think about it. Ouch, please don't do anything bad to me. Are they falling from the sky? They might be. Or are they coming from the rooms? I don't know. Anyway, um, I think we have arrived at our destination. Let me just uh, make sure that I'm good to go, because this is going to be a fight and a half. So, let me see if the game here. Let me activate my... Presence, not activated, but getting it ready. Let me, they, they're pissed in there. They're pissed in there. Let's go, guys. Ah, welcome, brother. I see you have been enlightened. Are you searching for something? Do you seek the truth? You've come to the right place, brother. We got more truth here than we can handle. <clears throat> Diseased truth, you say? Are you the leader of the Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle? They call me Bishop Vic, Shepherd of the Damned, your midnight guide through our last days here on Earth. Do you feel it, brother? The curtain being drawn back at last, drawn back by my hand, by the Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle. The last days here on Earth. Are you talking about Gehenna? Gehenna! Judgment Day, the apocalypse again, brother. You are too indoctrinated into the antiquated beliefs of this material world. There is no rhyme or reason. No all-powerful and terrible God to watch over their children. You talk of disease. What about the disease that you and I both carry? Our flesh remade into nothing more than an abomination, feeding on our brothers and sisters like so many cattle. What God watched over me when that demon tore into my neck and made me into this monster you see before you? No, brother. There is no God who would tolerate such a thing. And so I have become God. And the diseases I carry to the masses will bring about an end of my own making. <coughs> Until we have all journeyed below into the Ninth Circle. You have lost your mind, Vic. This is insanity. The time for words has come and gone, my brother. You and I will take those last steps together and see what truth lies behind the curtain. Let the night fall forever on this cursed earth, and let the fruits of my labor bring a long and bloody harvest. Yeah. Bring it on, Vic. Just bring it on. Okay, I will save the game immediately because that guy is nasty as hell. Yeah, he's got a shotgun. But I got a shotgun to myself. But the thing is, there are these guys up here. They're quite nasty. And I would like to kill them all. If I could. That guy's right there. Okay, so actually, let me do this. I think this might be a better weapon. Okay. No, nope, he's still shooting, but from, from back there, he's not gonna do much. Okay. Reload. Okay, I think I'm not gonna waste ammo on these guys over here. I'd rather just... Yeah, I shouldn't from the right there. Okay, so we're good. This is a nasty, nasty battle here. I've had always had uh, plenty of trouble, except for when I go with pure melee. If I go with pure melee, I don't really have much of an issue with the battle. For some reason, I just... It's because of the defense feats. That's pretty much how it goes. So, I got a shotgun ready as well, but I... As, again, I'm not gonna use the shotgun. I'm gonna use this. Because he doesn't regenerate. And from back there, it's not gonna do much, but I will. Actually, I should use the Glock, shouldn't I? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna use the Glock. It probably has more accuracy. Although I don't have that many bullets for it. Guess we'll see. Yeah, the accuracy is pretty good. Hello! Now, this is a gun. This is the kind of gun that I like. Unfortunate that I don't have weapon, uh, that I don't have bullets for it. Let's see if this is better. Probably isn't. Look at that. Oh, hi! That's what it's... No, that they say, oh, stop. Hey, stop, I think. Hey, look, no, I'm, I'm not gonna be there. 
we go somewhere else with melee because I think there's there might be more guys of yours around. Maybe not. Okay, let's go with the shotgun here. Let's go with this, not with the shotgun. Hey! Yeah, but as you can see, it is quite tricky. If you don't get away from them fast enough. Because there's no way for, for you to heal up. Apart from using your blood. Now will. Blood heal right there. Before I die. Did, did he move? There's somebody coming. Blood heal again. I got this, guys. Actually, it's not going that badly. It is not going that badly. Oh, I can shoot from here. Okay. Gotta move over there. As long as I keep my distance, I should be okay. Should. Doesn't mean I will. Yeah, the distance is a big problem. Because that weapon is pretty good at close range. But mine is a little bit better. Let's do this. Let's keep doing what I'm doing right now. I do remember trying to feed on these guys over here. I I'm pretty sure nothing terrible happens. And I I will hold that as truth. And if I need to, feed. Okay. If I need to feel that I will, but I'd rather not. Okay. Can I crouch for better? No, it doesn't matter. Be careful with that girl right there. Okay, I always have presence. I could use the presence. Yeah, this is going well. I think I'm just too hurried in my own playthroughs to, uh, to be good at this particular battle here. But I should be able to kill him at close range if I get can get up close with a shotgun. Yeah, but the time it takes to aim is just too much. Okay. Take another blood heal there. But they, I think he moved. I think he did. Okay. Now, just unload the clip. Or the magazine. Oh, you're right there, huh? There you go. See? That's how it works. You die, I live. And this guy, is he afraid? Hey, man, what's up? Can I punch you in the face or kick you in the nuts? I don't know. I think I did it. Yeah, we did it. This is now locked, and we have solved the plague problem. Let me uh, make sure that I don't have my weapon out, though. Because that would be a bad uh, a bad thing to do in front of a cop, maybe. I don't know. I don't think it matters, actually. But, yeah. So, we need to go to Maximilian Strauss. And can I go in through here? No. Uh, yeah, that, that thing. Uh, but can, how do we... So, we need to go to Maximilian Strauss, and then we need to go back to... Um... Damsel, yeah, I always forget her name. Some, somehow I always forget her name. So, wait a minute, I'm not in the right place. Not in the right place. This is not Strauss's place. Let's go to Strauss's place. Uh, yeah, I like the guy. I like the guy. Strauss is a, a nice guy. That's actually the only reason I ever played as a Tremere is because Strauss is a nice guy. Because I don't really like mages. I mean, yeah, in general. You guys know I don't like mages. But playing as them, it can be cool. In this game, it's actually pretty pretty cool. The obfuscate is really nice, but... I mean, it's, I think it's the only other class that has the obfuscate feat. Or discipline, I guess. So, through here. Now through here. It will lead me there anyway, so it's fine. There we go. Hey, what's up, man? What's up, my man? Hello, neonates. How can I be of assistance? Do you have a few minutes to talk to me? Of course. Uh, I solved the problem with the epidemic. Impressive, young one. What exactly was the source of the epidemic? It was a blood cult, headed by a vampire named uh, Bishop Vic, a blade bearer. Tell me of this so-called bishop. He wanted to bring about the end of the world. Hmm. I see. That end may very well be upon us. But to business, I have a debt to pay you for your services. Yes, you do. If you so desire. I can give to you a unique talisman that might be of use in the future. If that does not interest you, I can compensate you with hard currency. You decide. Yeah, I'll take the item if you're you're talking about. A wise decision, Neonate. Mm -hmm. True power lies not in wealth, but in the things it affords you. I hope this object serves you well. 
So, yeah. Me too. See ya. So we have blood buff duration increased by 200%. That will probably come in handy once. <laughs> I'm not really sure how, how often it's going to come in handy. But it's not that big of a deal. I don't use blood, use blood buff all that often. Although, during combat it can be used. And I probably should have used it already in a few instances. It's, it's, a, nice, it's a nice ability. I mean, yeah, I want to knight, but it just takes three... It's the problem is it takes three blood and it's quite expensive. I'd rather use three blood heals uh, rather than the uh, blood buff, to be honest. But anyway, I digress. Let's get on with. Actually, I didn't digress. That's that was actually precisely on point. But I, I, yeah, that word came to my mind, so I I must use this in my vocabulary right now. Let's go in here, talk to damsel about the plague bearer and whatever that is uh, was. And uh, hey, man, what's up? What the hell? Uh, nothing. Uh, so let's talk with Damsel. So, yeah, all the Plague Bearers are dead. You killed all of them? You. Huh. So I guess you want me to thank them or something? Thanks, okay? Well, cool for now, but just don't feel bratty to every day you have. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, well, you're not so bad either, Damsel. Still a bitch, but in a good way. Yeah, wait, what if I said I'm sick of LaCroix and I want to join the Anarchs? I don't know. You seem pretty tight with Nancy Pants up there. I'm a Nancy Pants myself. What are you trying to imply, Damsel? Say, you really want to help us out? Stay close to LaCroix. Mm, okay. I'll keep my affiliation a secret. I'll humor the LaCroix for now. Cool. With someone on the inside, we should be able to eject this candy ass a whole lot sooner. Keep us conscious, candy. Now we'll do. I will do. That's what I said. Anyway, uh, let's get out of here before she punches us in the face. Or kicks us in the nuts, as I was trying to do to the other guy. Anyway, um, yeah, that, that point right there, that's pretty much it. This game doesn't have a branchy storyline at the beginning, and the reason for that is maybe time, maybe design, I don't really know. But, uh, yeah, the, we, do, you do, we don't have a Nana uh, quest line. We just have a LaCroix one. But we can say that we affiliate with the Anarchs. And later on, we can choose how things go. But there's like like 70% through the game, you're going to get a big choice. And from there, just like six choices. And from there, the ending unfolds before, you, before us. Not unfolds, we need to go through it. But um, yeah, I, I think it's six different endings that this game has. Pretty sure that's the case. Or either that or... I don't know. It's, I don't remember, actually. I, I might be saying wrong things. Six or four, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, let's go to the uh, confession. Uh, pay a visit to... Um, Venus, man, I always forget her name, and uh, I actually buy a few shotgun shells. I could go to Mercurio, though. Nah, I think I, he's not going to have anything uh, for us. I think we need to... You're not going to... Thank you. Uh, I think we need to go to the next main quest for LaCroix for Mercurio to have something for us. Although he might give us a send us an email or something. I guess we'll see. So, oh, see, it, she removed the turnstile, or turn, turn slide, or whatever that thing Might is called. Be right. Been a while. Your money's been piling up. Here, that should provide for an interesting evening. Thanks. What? It hasn't been a while, by the way. I said, said it's good. Get madly in the affairs of others? Just not good. Not cool, not cool. But anyway, we have places to be, and that is the museum. The museum is actually one of my favorite quests. Not because of the quest itself, I mean, yeah, because of the quest itself. The level layout is pretty awesome, and I like it. And it's pretty cool as well. It's 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 a full fledged museum. It's a natural history museum or something. My man. Hey, what's up? What is up? Neat stuff, man. Neat stuff. So I will sell you this crappy thing. I will sell you probably other stuff as well. See, my mon the money I have been accumulating so far is immense, so things are going well. Let's sell this as well. Uh, I could sell... This is not gonna... It's never coming handy, but it's very inexpensive, so it's, there's no point in selling that. 
Um, so, yeah. What I'm gonna buy is shotgun shells. Because you can, you can never have too many of those. And I will also buy some, uh, some of those. Because those are very nice. And actually, that probably is gonna be the weapon we are gonna start to use. So... We're, gonna, we're not gonna need it for right now, to be honest, though. So, I don't know. Let's buy also some of these. Because we are actually running low on it. I didn't notice. Okay, just reload our stuff. That uh, hobo is not gonna mind us too much. The cops might. I think we're good. Let's... There we go. There's a key to holster uh, your weapon. I just don't know the key. I think there is a key. Pretty sure there is, but I don't know. It's uh, I think it's F1 or 1 itself. I don't know. Anyway, we need to drink. Hmm. That'd be a bit of a problem, isn't it? Isn't it? Who the hell are you, man? Hmm. Oh no, it's it's too open. It's too out in the open. I can't drink from that cup anymore. Oh man. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna need to find. Uh, that's the blood dolls. I not, I don't want to bring up my seduction anymore. I'm already seductive enough. If she, if she doesn't want me, she doesn't deserve me. That's all I'm gonna say right now. That, that yeah, the one at the confession. That she's not, yeah, she's not that to me, unfortunately. Uh, this guy's flying. I might give that a shot. No, it's not, it's too risky. And back here, there's nothing. What the, what the hell is that? Crazy, crazy stuff. Actually, the back helis are gonna be a good hunting ground. If there's somebody coming in through here, then I will drink their blood. Nobody back here, though. No, this might be one of those back alleys. Mm. Yeah, there's nobody back here. And if there was, uh, I just heard a, a door open. Man, we really need to go to that museum. I do want to drink. Okay, we're in a good place here. Let me save, though, because save's coming for the win. That, that beggar right there is going to see me, though. Let's do this. Couple more, couple more. We're good, we're good. Beggar didn't see. Good, man. There we go. That was some, uh, solid snake action right there. Some stealth, stealthy looking shizzles. Or whatever. Just cool. It's saying cool stuff. I'm saying cool stuff right now, guys. I'm saying cool stuff that I don't know what to say because I haven't grown up in a place where people say cool stuff or cool stuff in English anyway. And actually, even in Portuguese, I don't know what that sort You're of right. stuff. Yes, I do. I need to go... I need to go to LaCroix, actually. Yeah. I need to tell him that I'm ready. Forgot about that. Okay, it's not by Cav. It's gonna take me there himself or something. Hey, Chuck. Chunk. Yeah, you go right on up and see Mr. LaCroix. <laughs> Cover me, Tubbs! <laughs> Tubbs? <laughs> it's just, it's just, he said. It's just. Nice, nice, nice subtitles right there. So, man, what is up, the my dude? The car is waiting. The car is waiting? Well, if it wasn't, I'm ready to go. There is a degree of immediacy attached to this task. I Work twink. fast. And, as on the den, you are not to open the Ankaran sarcophagus for any reason. Well, excuse me. it's already open, so... How do I leave? Oh, I need to tell him that I'm fine. Oh, that's right. And now I go by, I go by cab. I see how that works. Cab is out there. I'm in here. Let me out, please, game. Thank you very much. Let's talk to this guy over here, Mr. Kane. Not the real Kane, though. The team Kane that developed the game. Hop in. Then I can use it. Actually, it is. Is it voiced by him? I, I, I'm hazy on that detail, actually. So, anyway. Uh, so, museum. Here we go. Seems to be fairly downtown museum right there. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know Los Angeles, so I wouldn't know. This is new. This is really new. Hey man, why are you? This is bad parking, you know that? This is terrible parking. This is awful parking. Why you do this? I like the place though, but this is new. This is totally new. Oh, I'm liking this. Psychic Madam Leota. And a back alley over here for no reason whatsoever. I guess we can hide if this guy decides to start shooting. I like the soundtrack as well. Hey, man. Uh, so it turns out I need to... Don't, don't look at me like that. D you see how you look at me? Like this unwashed peasant. October, December. 
dinosaurs. So that's the current Unlocking the Secrets of Ancient Life coming in January. Oh yeah, I remember seeing that one. Uh, but yeah, so apparently we're gonna see dinosaurs in there. Look into the long-standing tradition of human sacrifice. From the Mayans to you. I mean, directly off or... There's the key. That's why he gave me the key. Huh. Let's do this. We should be safe. We're in an area where we can't kill people. Oh, this was easy. Can I open this? Can't. Okay. So... This is totally new to me, guys. I, have no, I like the guitar there in the background. That's very nice. What is that that I saw? Newspaper. Hallow's Eve. Vampire ghouls go prepare for spooky celebration. I think this is where we start. Where we, uh, it, where we in the non patchy version of the game. Non patched version, I mean. I think I'm going over there first. Should be safe to walk around. There's stuff in here, but there's stuff in here as well. A few cans of paint, or paint cans or something. And that's the office key. Back here, there's a radio as well. That we can't turn on because the batteries are dead. That does look like a radio that works on batteries and a power socket as well. Because I, I, did, I never had one of those radios though, but my cousin did. And we did spend a bunch of time recording like fake radio shows on it and stuff. But it was one of those. And I remember that it worked with batteries, but it also worked with um, at the socket, at the wall socket. Uh, and uh, yeah, whenever we went on family picnics and stuff like that, he always brought that and we had a lot of fun. Uh, because family picnics, right? Just eating. What is that? Is that a dinosaur? That's a dinosaur, isn't it? It is a raptor! It's funny. Funny. Dead. Not dead, it's, uh, it's just fake. But we're, we're safe here. What the hell? I don't remember this. Roof access, you can't go up there. Okay, I'm just circling around, trying to... I don't think there are guards around here, though. Yeah, I don't think so. So circling around this backstage area, by, I don't really know. I know what these are. It's it's the access to hell. Kind of lost right now, guys. Those like those things that we saw. Yeah, that's the access to the uh, exposition stands or whatever. From back here, makes a little sense. Yeah, this thing here, it's absolute sense that it would be here. And I think your circle's back. Finally, okay. Why there would be a door on that end that we just got through? No idea, but. Let me save the game just in case I screw things up because I am bound to. And there's a cop going that way, so I'm gonna follow him. And there we go, we got dinosaurs. No, actually, we have flamingos. But look like flamingos anyway. Dinosaurs are here. This one is blocked. What is it supposed to be? I don't know. They're all the same, aren't they? I think so. These ones are not. It's a raptor that says a rhinoceros. Rhinoceros. Weird word for me to say. Rhinoceront, that's what it is. I'm just gonna stick with that. And we could go up there. We got a giant octopus. Or a normal one, anyway. We got, uh, what is that? Goat? Maybe. Hey man, just hurry up, man. Uh, we got over here a Dilophosaur or something? I don't really know. Over here we have those little tiny chickens. Uh, over here we have a, uh, the horse, weird horse. I don't know what that is. Just joking. Not choking, I'm joking. I don't know where I'm going though. I think it is up there. I've seen the. Oh, that's a otter, I believe. It's the name of that thing. This is a uh, deer, maybe? A Bambi, it's what it is, the Bambi. And right over here we have turtles or tortoises. I don't really know the difference. Over here we have another chicken thing. They all look the same to me. Over here we have a uh, sort of camel. It's not really a camel. Is it a camel? Or is it a... There's different different names for different things like some of that. So yeah, I think I've looked around enough. Let's go down. Where did I come from? Now the hippopotamus. We have uh, something over there. Yeah, it's fine. I, I don't need to go there. We just needed to follow that guard and be sure. This is um... Damn! 
That wasn't there. That scared the crap out of me. Uh, yeah, that wasn't there. That used, it used to be there. But that, I was gonna say that it was a Carnosaur or maybe a, a T-Rex. Because they're actually fairly similar. And over here we have a big Brontosaur. Or they have different names. I don't even know the names. Brontosaur actually, I think they changed that name. It's like... It's some, it's some different or something. I don't know the names. Not not a buff for dinosaurs. Never studied them. Oh, somebody in here. Somebody peeing in there. Be careful. And go up there. Open this. Oh, don't get stuck. Thank you. Sneaking our way around. Don't really know where I'm going. Just following the trail. As I said before, these levels, levels in this game... These levels are fairly linear, even though they are expensive and expansive with an A. Uh, and just look, not non-linear. Although I want to go down here. Oh, well, that was a bad idea. I just jumped on somebody's head. That was a terrible idea, that's what that was. And apparently he doesn't know I'm here, because he's dumb. Oh my god! Okay, where are we? Offices. Okay, microwave. We have one of these at my office. That's how old that is. This one doesn't work. Okay, the guard saw me. It's by me setting up. Okay, we're good. Hey! Uh... Now I can get past it. Past him. He's gonna see me though. It's probably the way into that is to wait, because that door seemed to have been locked. Is to... Oh man, I wanted to go here. I need to check out the guard. Man. Man, I want to see what that guy does. That is a nice, nice looking lamp. I want to see where he goes. Because if I can't operate this thing, but it takes so long. I might be in a bad spot though. Okay, I'm in the darkness here. It takes so long. I yeah, I'm just gonna save and go for it. And with that, let's see what happens. So, email. Without a coma. Hack that thing. And we probably are gonna need to... I love Gabe. You love Gabe? <laughs> from Valve? Cause, yeah. Just a reminder, this is from C. Marshall. Just a reminder, Dr. Anderson, Anders Johansson, aka the sarcophagus guy, will be working at the museum for the next few days. Show him the professional courtesy we show all of our guests. Uh, what about the fetish? Statue of Daryl's workstation is creeping me out. I was working late the other night, and I swear I thought I saw it move. This isn't the an another gag, is it? If it is, I don't think it's funny. My MAV has detected a virus in your in the attachment of the message. This is from whom? ADCX. Oh, I mean, whatever doesn't matter. Those keys you found, they're Larry's. I'll tell him you left them in the lost and found. What about sales? Password, that thing. Riff. Huh. Uh, so, view, I guess. Those figures are unavailable at this time. Okay. Wonder why. Okay, it's, it's all good. Okay, well. Yes, that guy's not coming out of that room, so it's fine. Let's keep moving. We're at the bottom floor. They're going there. There's a guard coming. Okay. We're cool, we're cool. As long as he doesn't come in here. Okay, so this is where I came in. Oh, I, we might not be cool. Hopefully so, but we might not be. Anyway, I think it's time to say goodbye for now. I do hope you guys have enjoyed it. Let me just save. As always, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. I really, really hope you guys have enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.